everybody my name is Khalees aka KT Reyna and welcome back to my channel all about me so in today's video we'll be continuing the love life in June tarot reading series we are almost done we are on the second to last zodiac sign Aquarius all right so we'll be doing readings for Aquarius Sun Moon and rising you will have two piles to choose from but before we get into that please remember that I am not a medical professional please don't ever use this video or any videos like this as a replacement for professional medical help also remember that this is a general reading meaning I'm mini reading multiple different people's energies so if you would like a personal reading where I'm only reading your energy there's a link in the description box down below that tells you how to get that so without further ado please don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe because that notification to know whenever I have a brand new video and choose your pile Aquarius 1 and Aquarius 2 Hello Aquarius number one. So with the pile one, usually they have more of a sun sign energy. However, if your sun sign is not an Aquarius, that just means that there is a message here for you that you, you should continue listening to. And if you feel called to listen to both piles, please do so. We're gonna be looking at the final rose tarot deck. And we're gonna be asking what's next for you in your love life in the month of june okay so for aquarius number one we have the cocktail party number 17. we have um seven of mirrors for the wrong reasons and we have six of mirrors silver lining and we have number ten, ten of flutes the proposal and we have Nine of Flutes, Fantasy Suites. Then we have Page of Mirrors, The Gossip. We have Page of Roses, The Free Spirit. We have Four Flutes, Reflection. We have Number One, The Producer. We have Number Five, The Host. We have Number Seven, The Limo. We have Number Zero, The Contestant. We have King of Roses, the executive producer. And we have the bomb card, the producer planned. So what I see here for Aquarius 1 is that there is a um, strong and powerful feminine energy competing with the, um, the masculine energy that is standing in, I guess, standing in their way essentially so it's like two very hard-headed people but especially the masculine energy is very hard-headed and the producer the feminine energy is looking at them like okay so this is how this is the hill that you're gonna die on you know what I mean and so I see with the silver lining for the wrong reasons cocktail party fantasy suite in the proposal um this may be someone who <sighs> may be because i saw an influencer card in here as well but in reverse so this may be someone who likes to do things for show so the masculine energy may be someone who likes to do things for show and the feminine energy may have enjoyed it for a period of time but um the true colors slowly start to show and come to the forefront with the gossip um they may have been you know you may have been vibing enjoying this um relationship free spirit with enjoying like you know being shown off and enjoying like being this person's number one but then it kind of came to the surface that this person in reality was just trying to use your power, use your beauty to uplift themselves and kind of like show off in a way like, oh, look at what I got, you know? So the relationship was more about other people and validation rather than you and your own well-being, right? And so this is something that you're going to um, realize over time as you like hear more and more people talking 
about you um in ways where it's kind of just like how do they know that stuff you know what i mean and the only way they can know that stuff or know these certain things about you is because someone was talking a little too freaking much and it's because they put other people's opinions about them in the forefront uh and made it more important than they prioritize other people's feelings about them over how you felt and the relationship so i hear see you you know vibing enjoying yourself then suddenly you're hearing things about you know what other people are saying about you you're hearing things about um what this person just was really doing behind your back and then that trust is kind of lost because you're like i thought this was cool i thought we were coasting i thought we were doing our thing and the whole time when i'm not around you're doing everything you're not supposed to do and i can't trust you so this means i, I can't trust you and, and it hurts but the silver lining will come in this month right so it'll hurt but the silver lining will come in this month and you'll have a moment of reflection with the four flutes i see you like the flutes represents water because it represents you know cups and number four um like i said represents stability like the legs of a chair with reflection i see you taking a moment to really dig into your feelings and your thoughts on this whole situation from a mature and emotionally mature and stable um perspective so you allow yourself to cry and feel all these feelings or whatever but you're going to look at it from a perspective of like okay where did i miss these signs and stuff like that you're you're trying to learn from this essentially you're not trying to um wallow in your sadness you're trying to really understand it which is very much aquarius energy aquarius energy is the energy of knowledge the energy of knowing and so naturally you're going to fall into your aquarius energy of trying to understand of trying to understand how this all happened where this coming from and, and yada yada so you're really trying to learn from this and gain knowledge and wisdom from this right you know typical aquarius energy right so you're going to reflect on this you're not going to let this overwhelm you you're going to look at the light at the end, end of the tunnel the the silver lining right so i see um with the the limo the contestant the executive producer and the producer plant with the king of roses i see that um you probably came into this relationship really fast and the contestant represents the full card which is the card that is taking a risk and jumping into the situation so you probably came into this situation very quickly you were like very excited this person swept you off your feet and you're ready to go so this person may have been someone that's well known or wants to be well known um but is more of a local celebrity is maybe someone who is you know just really enjoys the spotlight but apparently they enjoy it way too much in a very unhealthy fashion and it it really just create a lot of unauthenticity in the way they conduct themselves in relationships right and you unfortunately had to have a front row seat to that um but yeah but you came in very quickly they were like taken aback by how beautiful and amazing you were and they swept you off your feet and they put on this whole show for everybody else and they put on this whole show for you too and you know you bought into it and it is what it is but you know it happens to the best of us and it's nothing to be ashamed of um but yeah it's all going to be over with the producer plant and the executive producer with the bomb i see like a huge bomb you see with these producer cards they both have something in their ear and then with the um gossip card there's a little devil in their ear so i see with you um there may have been some people you know in your ear basically telling you but these people t were telling you um the gossip that they heard ab about you right and it's going to catch you off guard because you weren't even really listening to that like you saw that this person had fans and so you're listening to the fans because you wanted to support your person right 
but then you realize that those fans weren't talking about him and giving support to him they were talking about you and talking shit about you about things that you're not they're not supposed to know and the only way they can know this is if the masculine energy told them as if they told them and i see here with again with the producer energy again you you got all the knowledge you had this clipboard here you know you knew something was off and i feel like that's why a part of you kind of like checked those comments or or um had a conversation with those people or the case may be that's why you gained access to that um information because you came into it with um good intentions but a part of you knew something there's something you needed to learn in this area you're a very intuitive person i sense that and something told you to pay attention to what these people were talking about even though that's something that you usually don't really do um you're more like i said you're more of a free spirit you hear people talking you're like hey bitch i got haters per but something told you like this there's more to this and you need to really pay attention to it and that's what you did um as you can see with these two producers they have glasses on right this one has sunglasses and this one has like you know i think prescription glasses um so you, you your third eye was basically open and you were just like something there's something else going on here and and you followed your intuition and you let it guide you and that's what i also see with the contestant in the, in the limo um you taking that risk and allowing your intuition to guide you into finding out this huge bomb right this huge bomb of information that had you like oh fuck no are you serious right now so that's what i see for you in in june i see you um intuitively being guided and feeling like something's not right or there's something more to this and you being put in a situation where you find out more about what's really going on and then you're like wow this is crazy but then you see the silver lining of it you're just like you know what this is something that i need to learn here because you're a very intuitive being you're a very connected being um we have 1441 four plus one equals five baby so five five and five equals change shifts stuff like that so def this is definitely going to be a huge change huge shift and definitely a learning let's uh, a learning opportunity for you and that's how you're going to take it you're going to take it as a learning opportunity that will definitely guide you and give you the keys to having a true real stable fantasy right a true real stable relationship so this is what this person was showing you and showing other people but for the wrong reasons but as you learn from this you will gain the knowledge and the wisdom to be able to guide you in the right direction to like you know open up doors open up doors you see open up and then you see hometowns open up doors for you to get closer with the next destination for you to get closer to the the real the real fantasy the real relationship the real stability with flutes and flutes <laughs> but this is a ring here right and that represents stability even though this is a ten of flutes and a ten of cups this is something real right and so this is just helping you figure out the fake from from the real the authentic from the unauthentic that's all this is is learning the difference between all of that and that's what you're learning so um that's what i see for you and we're going to continue on from here all right so yeah this that's what you're learning in the month of june the authentic from the unauthentic and that's and that's how you're going to take it as, a, as a, a lesson learned right okay stand in your power babies per okay so with the romance angels oracle cards we're going to ask what your next romantic relationship will be like after this okay so your next relationship seems it's going to be a lot more um stable you're definitely going to apply what you've learned from the past relationship 
the, you know, this current one that you're going to be getting out of. You're definitely going to be applying your lessons and your wisdom into this next one. I can definitely see that here. Um, we have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So it's going to be authentic. Okay, it's going to be real. You're going to know the difference now. Um, we have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. And children, your love life being affected by children. So this is someone that you may want to build a life with, but you may want to do it in private because you had your experience with being at the forefront of everything and it was just, it was too much and it was overwhelming and it was just a lot of sneaky shit going on. And so not out of trauma, but out of just preference for just being a private person, because that's one of the things that you may learn through your reflection process, that you're just more of a private, chill person and you don't really like all, all that people in your business like that. It's not really um, fun or entertaining. So you and your partner may just be, new partner may just be the type of people who would just rather build a whole life in in private you may share some things publicly but um when it comes to things that you truly really care about you're going to keep other people out of that right and that's why i see with let your friends help you um in reverse let your friends help you but in reverse you're not really going to have other people involved in your in your situation like you're not going to be around telling other people all your business like oh my god he did this like you know about this yada 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 like no and give your relationship a chance and religious factors so you guys may have some um different ideas on things but at the end that you both agree that it is important to be authentic in relationships to be true to be honest to have these deep conversations deep heart to heart conversations and to not put everyone on blast and make it a whole public scene or run to your friends talking shit um you both agree that it's important to be very mature and respectful and in, in relationships um but there may be some other things that you guys may need to like you know talk about and that's why it's important to give your relationship a chance and have a heart to heart conversation which will be very different from what you're used to maybe very different from what you're used to um compared to this relationship that you're going to be getting out of this relationship definitely was not like that you guys are most definitely just coasting vibing no real like deep conversations about things so this is definitely going to be you know different chemistry and uh very soon there's a strong magnetic attraction here clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now uh very soon and chemistry so with this i see that this person may be coming in um this person may be coming in i don't see this month maybe at the end of this month maybe towards the beginning of the next month or something like that but they will be coming in and you will automatically like very soon very quickly feel this like a lot of chemistry between you two a, a strong connection between you two and it's going to be very interesting very different five six oh five interesting it's going to be like very different you're automatically going to feel pulled in to really explore this relationship and give it a chance to really understand it and see where this goes right um but i do see it like you know taking your time and letting it evolve over time um we have 22 11 on the clock so confirmation there's definitely someone new out there for you who will be very different from what you got going on right now in a more positive way. And you guys will both be able to apply what you've learned from your past relationships into this one to make it better. Uh, whether or not it'll last really doesn't matter because it's just an opportunity for you to experience something a lot better. All right. And to apply what you what you what you learned and really stand in your power and uh, not let someone, you know, sway you left or right. Right. So yes that's what i see for you forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moments so like i said as you heal and reflect on all the bullshit that you that you've been through that that person did for show for for face to save face or the case may be you'll be forgiving them because you don't want to carry that anger into this relationship right because there are certain things that will be public you know it's 2022 you might post a picture might post you know a caption a story whatever the case may be um about the person and you know it, it, it is what it is so it's not something to be afraid of just have boundaries that you will and those boundaries will be something that you will learn as you heal and reflect on uh, on this relationship that you'll be getting out of or have already gotten out of so we have lovers 
or cool 45 heart shaped cards. So we're gonna ask for, ooh, my beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we're always united for love transcends space and time, nothing is missing. So this may definitely be like um, some deep soul connected energy between you and this new person. Um, we're gonna pull cards to ask how this new person feels about you all right okay okay so we have embraced through each other you find the missing pieces we have the soulmate okay soulmate card your soulmate is already with you in spirit believe this and they will manifest physically we have uh, manifest physically manifesting miracles your dream is soon to become reality trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance so like i said that fantasy that you wanted that you thought you were going to have with this other person is a um is definitely going to happen with this new person okay it's not um you're going to figure out what it feels like to actually have that um, and not have the fake version of that, okay? Okay. We have criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. So you guys may be still healing and growing as individuals as well as together. Um, which makes sense because you guys might both be coming out of relationships that weren't as they seem almost forgot to light my incense baby girl okay they're lit <laughs> but you guys might both be coming out of relationships that weren't exactly how they seemed and you might be a little bit hurt about that but that's okay but you guys been going through like this individual healing process and experimenting and trying to figure things out and learn new things and you guys are going to come together and you guys aren't going to be fully healed no one really comes to a relationship fully healed and you can heal you know together so that that's going to be the thing that you guys most likely will be doing you guys will still be going through this um process uh that that's still going through that healing process as individuals but then you guys will come together and really find this mutual understanding but it's not really going to be a trauma bond it's going to be like a healing bond and you guys are definitely gonna have, going to learn so much more about yourselves and about each other through this relationship as you guys open your mind and really have these heart to heart conversations and um, really give your relationship a true fighting chance and you know not be so harsh on each other yep yeah. imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life so like I said, this will be very healing and very much like a dream come true. Transformation, your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. Like I already said, like I already said, romance, Cupid's arrow strikes. So this is, so this is some real deal shit right here. Nothing, nothing fake. No fakeness over here. Um, and then last but not least, we have give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. Again, a dream come true, a fantasy turn to reality. Like I said, um, everyone's on different timelines. So for a lot of you, I do see this person um, coming in towards the end of June. Um, but for some of you this might carry and this energy might carry in through july as well and throughout the the rest of the um the year but i do see you meet, meeting this person very soon um but yeah this is definitely going to be very healing and enlightening experience very different from what you were used to you thought you're gonna have that 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 fantasy in that old relationship turns out it wasn't all that it seemed then this person comes in and you're like whoa this is a different feeling and you're just learning the real from the fake and this person's probably learning that too i feel that you guys are kind of reflecting each other 
Ooh, and I just said reflecting each other. I said twin flames or passion ignites. Didn't I just say reflecting each other? 31, 13. Didn't I just say that? I just said that. See, so y'all be thinking I'm crazy, but I'm not. I'm so serious. So you guys might be coming out of very similar situations or very similar energies, old relationships, um, you know, that stuff. And you just, just that, that um, mutual reflective energy really brings a healing moments for you guys and you guys just grow and evolve so quickly t with each other because you saw that you had the chariot card the, the limo so that might also represent you know you you taking a risk with the with the contestant card the fool card with this relationship and just healing coming so quickly um from my experience when you're with someone who really reflects your energy and you really reflect theirs in a healing way um you just grow so exponentially like it happens so fast it, ha it just happens in a blink of an eye and it's so crazy but it's so amazing and so beautiful so um i hope you guys really cherish that and you really use your newfound wisdom to really um grow that as and just continue to heal as individuals and together it's really beautiful so I send you guys many, many blessings. I'll be posting a song on my story that represents this energy in the month of June for your pile, all right? And if you would like a more specific reading, there's a link in the description box on how to get a personal reading, all right? And please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the bell notification to know whenever I have a brand new video. And I'll see y'all later. Bye. Hello, Aquarius number two so usually with pile two this has more of a moon and rising sign energy however if, however if you do not have aquarius in your moon or rising sign that just means that there is a message here for you that you should listen to so please continue listening and if you feel called to listen to both piles please do so so we're going to be taking a look at the final rose tarot and we're going to be asking what is next for you in love in this month of june okay so for aquarius 2 we have three of roses next destination um five of roses competition ten of roses shoulder to cry on page of flutes the daydreamer we got a lot of cards for you okay ten of rings hometowns eight number eight opening up Ugh. four of mirrors reassuring rose we have four of flutes ref reflection and ace of flutes first kiss We have number five, the host, and ten of flutes, the proposal. We have uh, king of rings, the jeweler. We have page of roses, the free spirit. We have night number nineteen, paradise. We have four of roses, the mansion. And then we have Page of Mirrors, the Gossip in Reverse, and Five of Mirrors, the Tattletale in Reverse. For Aquarius number two, I see you guys. It seems like you're moving on from an old relationship. So we have Four of Flutes Reflection on top of Ace of Flutes First Kiss. And I see that you may have been with someone for a long time, or then we have your been your first in certain aspects or they just were someone that you're really invested in but it was time to let that go and you've been just really like healing from that and growing from that and moving on from that because that really did leave a huge impact on you and so you've been having some hard times you know opening up and uh, trying to create something stable with someone you've been a little bit nervous about that right we have opening up reassuring rose and Ten of Rings, hometown, which, you know, Ten of Rings is about, you know, stability, creating a life, having, feeling fulfilled, you know, all that, all that good stuff. 
you know you want that with someone but it's like and you can build that someone you know you're capable of that and you can give that to someone um but you're just a little bit scared because of what you went through you know you're a little bit nervous but you're you're still down to do it like you want to do it really badly and so so i see you transitioning out of this right and um we have knight of rings the jeweler again rings represent stability earth right we have five number five the host we have 10 of flutes, the proposal. So we have another 10 fulfillment card, right? But this time this is in water. So we may, and then we have king of rings, which is earth. So we have water and earth and we have a major arcana card. So you may be someone who likes, when, when you like, and we have two like cards basically like representing proposing. So you may have be the type of person who, um, when you really like someone, you put on a whole show. You put on a whole show and you really get down and really show your commitment because that's that's just what you do that's how you show your commitment like you make sure everybody and mama know like this is the person for you your ten toes down you know yada yada etc etc and um you may be a little bit reserved at times but your person always knows that you, you really love and care for them and this is something that you will you wanted to give um someone in your past but like those people in your past just never really added up they never really amounted to what you always wanted the relationships just never really came to fruition and so you're you're transitioning into a stage where you are as you heal as you grow and as you reflect you are getting closer to someone who you're considering really spending your entire life with and giving a hundred a hundred thousand percent to with all these tens and the fives and the fours and stuff like you're really considering really doing something completely different that you've always wanted to do but you've never been able to give to or do with anybody else and there's this person who really gives you this like free spirit energy this feeling like you're in paradise like everything's just going well that you're doing the right things it seems like they're doing all the right things and just it, fe it feels right with this person you feel right with this person and we, and with paradise nine, 19 9 plus 1 equals 10 so that's another 10 another fulfillment right and um page of roses free spirit roses represents fire the fire element so you're really it they just spark something in you that you've always felt was missing from all your other relationships this person really gives that and we have the mansion four of roses and this is for mansion stability like i said this is like this person gives feeds the fantasy um it feels like being with this person being with this person your fantasy turns into reality of having this beautiful life beautiful family beautiful everything right and there's nothing that anybody can say with the gossip and tap on reverse that can make you feel different you know there might be people and you're, you're trying to say oh listen like you know this person uh, might be like your ex or they might be like x y and z they might be like elemental p but it's not true you know it's not it's, it's not true and you know it's not true because you know what you really feel you know what you're really thinking and some people might see you building something with this person they really might feel your energy shift in something more positive and high vibrational when you're with this person um after having this better experience right and they might be like hating on that they might be jealous about that but you're not really listening to that shit you're like get up out my ear bro get get up out my ear like you don't really care you're not afraid to cut people off when it comes to you know uh, sustaining your happiness and you know your greatness you're not afraid to cut a few people off and that's what you're about to do um six of roses challenge winners so i see you finally just achieving what you always wanted but were never to able to actually create with someone until now so i see in the month of june you really um showing your commitment to this person being like i can see a whole new world with you and really like confessing to this person like you know it's how i feel and i want to be with you so you might give this person a promise ring you might propose to them um 
you might get married or the case may be but you're going to show them a sign that you want to be with them forever that you want to create a stable long and fulfilling life with them and that you want to take it to the next level okay you want to step up out of this old bullshit with the ex and the 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 sadness and not having like you, you no you don't want to waste no time you already know how you feel so you want to let this person know you want this person know that you're the one for me period point blank and you might even make a show a show out of it but it's not going to be for the wrong reasons it's gonna it's just, it's just that's just how you are like sometimes you like making a show out of certain things just to make your person feel good and feel like the center of attention and feel um validated and put on a pedestal you know there's nothing wrong with stroking a little ego sometimes and that's what you like to do with your partner sometimes you like to make them feel good you know just like they make you feel good period so that's what i see for you is you really confessing how you really feel to this person and really finally having that stable and fulfilling life that you always wanted and ignoring all that other bullshit and really moving on from the bullshit from your past and like learning from it and accepting the fact that like yeah those people just weren't the one for me to be content continued cliffhangers like i said this is something very long lasting that you're really happy and excited for and excited about and you can't wait to tell this person about how you really feel so that's what i see in june for you we're going to move on to the romance angels oracle cards and we're going to ask how does your person feel about you because we kind of see how you feel about them you're so in love and you're so just like ready for more ready for the future ready to create a life with them you know when when they're ready right but we, we want to know how this person feels about you okay <laughs> i like this so we have a soulmate yes this is your soulmate we have it is safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all we have true love this is the romance of a lifetime we have new love a new person has stirred your romantic feelings we have stay optimistic about your love life honeymoon make the effort and flirt all lined up in here all right lined up like that and then we have separation but in reverse we have let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others and we have love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive so this person really feels like you're the person for them you're the one for them they really feel this energy where they just feel very optimistic about the relationship they feel very emotionally involved where they want to make the effort they want to flirt they want to really put their all into it which may be a first for them or a very rare thing for them um and so they know that's how they know this is real that's how they know this is true love that this is new love this is a new experience for them um it's definitely new territory they've never been in this position before in this position of of their life you know what i mean so that just that feeling of like this might be real love is like so new to them it's so crazy so they're really trying to take their time really like accepting that and understanding that they really don't want to rush into that um we have trust underneath the deck so they're really just trying to understand it and take their time they don't want to rush into anything because they really don't want to have their trust broken or be heartbroken or anything like that so they're just trying they're enjoying themselves but they're, they're, they're gonna pace themselves right they have separation in reverse so even though they're trying to pace themselves sometimes they can't bear to be apart from you they like really like being around you they might spend a lot of time with you or ask to spend a lot of time with you and they don't want to come off a clingy so they know how to spend time by themselves with love yourself first they know how to spend time by themselves and like really love themselves and hype themselves up and all that other stuff like they're cool with that like they cool with not being around you sometimes but like they just 
they like being around you like you hype them up you make them feel good they like that and they'll let let your friends help you with let your friends help you i do see that they might come to their friends a lot because this is very this might be uncharted territory for them or it might be something that's very rare for them so sometimes they might need to go to their friends to be like hey i'm not crazy right like i'm not the only one who feels this type of way right you know what i mean like this confirmation or more of an understanding or different perspectives so they can really understand this you know this is something very new this new love right okay true love so that's how they feel they do feel the same way about you um they do have a lot of feelings for you and they do feel like you were their person but they just they're, they're just trying to pace themselves that's all they don't want to rush into anything so yeah this person might also be younger than you or they might have a more youthful soul than you um and that might also play a part in why they want to take things slowly um because they do feel that energy of wanting to spend a lot of time with you and basically starts to feel like y'all already married or some shit and so they're really just trying to make sure they go about it the right way and not rush into anything attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully so yeah they're very attracted to you and they're attracted to this energy and everything and they're just really trying to enjoy themselves with you they don't want to you know mess anything up or anything by going too fast so yeah don't don't rush them i know you feel like you want to spend the rest of your life with them and you're ready to like confess and let them know like hey i see a whole new world with you um but don't you know bombard them with like a whole bunch of shit like having babies and getting married and stuff like be very emotionally and socially aware when it comes to the reaction when having those types of conversations okay you know respect that they do sometimes need time and space to themselves which also may be represented in the separation card sometimes they just need space in themselves to reflect and, and think about things so don't rush them okay do not rush them okay so lovers oracle right so we're going to use this and we're going to ask we're going to ask what are you learning in this woo jesus so we have sacred union and a secret admirer so this might be something that is very um divine this might be a very divine connection but we're going to ask what are you learning in this current relationship? Soulmate card again. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. You're also learning balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. So you may not have had a balanced relationship in the past. There may have been, their partner may have been the one to take and you may have been the one to give a lot and now you're in a relationship where you guys it's an equal give and take and you feel very much loved and supported transformation your relationship with one another is about to deepen love conquers and transforms all things you're about to it feels like your love and respect for yourself is about to evolve as you learn more and more about how you should be treated in a relationship about what this type of relationship you've always wanted really looks like you're going to learn more and more that you always deserve this you always deserve this uh embrace manifesting miracles my beloved give thanks for the blessing of love soon to come your way know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires like i said you're learning that sh this is something that you always deserve and you shouldn't have to and should and shouldn't a relationship should not be one-sided criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform so yeah you guys are just going to be learning so much more about each other we have reflection give each other some space at the moment trust and have faith that all will work out for the best so you're really learning to um let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. So again, talking about space. So you're learning how to um, balance real loving relationships. This relationship might have a lot of intensity in it. So there might be moments where you guys really do need to give each other space and time and really understanding um, 
what that is and what that means and how important that is to building the stable foundation and beautiful fulfilling, fulfilling life that you've always wanted. So you're, you're learning what different at what, what it dif what it takes to build this dream relationship that you've always had. You're learning what it takes. So manifesting miracles, your dream is soon to become a reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. So like I said, right now you're just learning what it takes to build a type of relationship that you've always wanted. My beloved, though we may be physically apart, especially we are always united for love, transcend space and time. Nothing is missing. So again, more about separ more about separation. You guys give each other space. It helps build um, trust and safety and understanding and better communication and it helps make the love more intense and um it just makes things more stable because you have that nice balance of being together but also being separate right embrace through each other you find the missing pieces so like i said all the things that were missing in your other relationships that made it hard to build what you always wanted will now be coming in three four five number five so transformation things changing you might not always understand why certain things happen however there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life through turmoil a blessing will soon be revealed so like i said this person may be a blessing to your life and you may not realize it until this month when you realize oh i can build the life i've always um the relationship the life the future that i've always wanted with the person with this this person this person is perfect this person is amazing wow i've really been guided in the right direction so a message for you i'm thinking of you this very moment your love feels you with light i love you so without a doubt this person feels the same way about you as you do about them you know they just might be taking their time or things might be a little bit different for them or they might be coping with things differently than you so really just make sure you give them space and time to process everything and don't like throw things on them you know so quickly but definitely have these heart to heart open conversations um this is really awesome this is really beautiful for you guys i can't wait to see this evolve and develop and really become something so beautiful and amazing and you just get everything that you deserve right so i send you many blessings um i will be posting a song that represents this energy uh love energy in the month of june on my instagram so please don't forget to follow me on my social media description box down below if you would like a personal reading to learn more about this, you know, connection, there's a link in the description box down below that tells you how to get that. So please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe with the bell notification to know whenever I have a brand new video. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.